In this session, we're going to review a few tips on how to handle placing multiple sessions on the same chart. So you can see here that on this chart, uh, we have a currency, Aussie dollar, and it has the Sydney session, the Berlin, the London, and the New York session. Uh, all on the same chart, so you can easily use this to see um, when you turn different um, supply and demand bands over where things overlap in different sessions. So let's talk a little bit about a few tips on setting up multiple sessions like this. So when you set multiple sessions up, the one thing you want to consider is the color scheme that you're using to make sure that you can easily tell the sessions apart and see where they overlap. Um, when you name your session, if this line where you have the hashtags for definition settings, you can actually put the name of your session there so it will help you to easily see that uh, when you're choosing which strategies you want to turn on and off for the session tool on your chart. Um, the other thing is uh, making the border um, same as the fill color. Um, this will help making it easier for you to see the candles. So here's some of the different uh, display settings for the session. And you can see in this example, you have a fill color of a light green and the transparency is set to 25. You have a range of zero to 255 for the transparency. And then you can see that the, the border color is set the same and um, the weight is a one and um, the border transparency is 50. So you can see the border to be able to denote this difference between the other sessions. And then the text is the same color and the transparency is higher on that 140 to make that stand out more. So that's a few things that will help you. And then if you are adding range stats, you want to make them also the same color so you know that those stats go with that specific session. So hopefully that will help you out if you're setting up multiple sessions.